And welcome back. Homelessness is an issue that affects every part of Kern County, but resources have been historically limited in our rural areas compared to metro communities like Bakersfield. That is until today. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino got a tour of the first daytime navigation center in Arvin to help the homeless population there and brings us more on their efforts. It's sitting at tables like these where those who come in will be able to read a book or play board games. And the whole idea is to make meaningful connections, not just with those at the center, but also with the community. I feel like uh, our society has uh, become uh, numb to the homeless population and um, that, that shouldn't be the way it is. Lonnie Harris knows this all too well. Seven months ago, I was homeless, living in my car, addicted to drugs, and I, I had to go to rehab, and you know, I've done a lot of work to uh, get here. His experience has now helped him connect with the homeless population in Arvin and Lamont, and it's making a difference. He walked all the way here from Lamont. It, it, it stuck in somebody's mind, enough for them to walk seven miles just to get a plate of food, just to be somewhere safe. That is one case, but because this is the only center in South Kern, they expect there to be more of these situations. And that is why they created a solution. The bus pass, this is a Harvard Navigation client on it, with their picture on it. And then whenever they're in, if they want to come, they have an appointment, they want to get off, they want to come get the services, they just show it to your bus driver and they're allowed to, and they're allowed to uh, they get their transportation for free. Charlie Van De Voort, program manager at the center, explains they operate Monday through Friday. And while they were training staff last Thursday, they already helped nine individuals. But that's expected, as in the past two months, they saw the number of homeless people in the area increase from 30 to over 100. That's why their main goal, besides providing food, a place to cool down and do laundry, is to get them into permanent housing. In Van De Voort hopes it's not just those who need the resources, but also the community that stops by. Get to hear the story, connect with them, learn, from, learn about them. And I think when we start doing that, we get a better understanding of, 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 of who they are and, it, and, it, and we get a stronger, a stronger community. And those who do need transportation to get here to the center are asked to call the number on your screen, which will also be linked on our website, turn2023.com. In Arvin, Vanya Patino, 23ABC News, connecting you.